Hello students, welcome. I am Adi Chavarthan from adichemistry.com. This presentation is a quick animated introduction to license test. It is part of Adi Chemistry online coaching, useful for 10 plus 2 level organic chemistry as well as examinations like IIT, JEE and NEET. Okay, without wasting our time, let us see what is license test. This test is used to detect the elements like nitrogen, sulfur and halogens like chlorine, bromine and iodine in the organic compounds. Remember, this test is specific for organic compounds only. And it involves two steps. First one is we have to prepare the sodium fusion extract then we have to go for detection of elements using this sodium fusion extract. Okay now let us see how to prepare sodium fusion extract or SFE. First of all we have to take a fusion tube into which a small amount of organic compound along with sodium metal are introduced. The fusion tube is now heated on a flame until it becomes red hot. The red hot fusion tube is then plunged into distilled water. The contents are warmed for some time. Then filtered off. To get the clear filtrate, which is known as sodium fusion extract, here what happens is sodium reacts with carbon and nitrogen to give sodium cyanide if nitrogen is present in the organic compound. If sulfur is also present, then sodium reacts with sulfur by giving sodium sulfide. If halogens are present, then sodium reacts with halogens by giving sodium halides represented by NaX where X may be Cl that is chlorine or bromine or iodine and if uh, both nitrogen and sulfur are present and uh, insufficient amount of sodium metal is used during uh, the preparation of SFE then sodium may react with sulfur, carbon and nitrogen by giving sodium thiocyanate NaSCN. So the sodium fusion extract may contain all of these elements or may not depending on the elements present in the organic compound. So if nitrogen is present then in the sodium fusion extract we will have sodium cyanide if not, then it will be absent. Now let us see how to test for nitrogen by using sodium fusion extract. Take a small amount of uh, SFE in a test tube and uh, add freshly prepared ferrous sulfate to the SFE. You will get uh, a precipitate of uh, ferrous hydroxide which is greenish in color then it is warmed slightly so that uh, you will get sodium ferrocyanide when uh, ferrous hydroxide reacts with sodium cyanide and now we have to add few drops of uh, ferric chloride and uh, then acidify with HCl. If we get uh, Prussian blue coloration, this confirms the presence of nitrogen. So here the Prussian blue color is formed due to formation of ferric ferrocyanide Na4FeCN taken six times, which is again taken thrice. So this is formed when sodium ferrocyanide reacts with the FeCl3. Now 
Now let us move on to the detection of sulfur in the organic compound by using nitroprusside test. Here to a small amount of SFE sodium nitroprusside is added. If we get a deep violet coloration this confirms the presence of sulfur. Here the sulfide ion reacts with nitroprusside ion that is Fe Cn taken 5 times NO with 2 minus charge by giving Fe Cn taken 5 times NOS with 4 minus charge it is uh, responsible for the deep violet coloration and this confirms the presence of sulfur. There is also another simple test uh, for sulfur that is by using lead acetate we can uh, confirm the presence of sulfur. Here to a small amount of sodium fusion extract we have to add lead acetate. If we get a black precipitate then this confirms the presence of sulfur. Here the sulfide ion reacts with the lead ion by giving PBS which is black in color. There is one more interesting test for the detection of nitrogen and sulfur. If both of these elements are present in the organic compound and if we use insufficient amount of sodium during the preparation of sodium fusion extract then we will get sodium thiocyanate and if the SFE contains sodium thiocyanate upon addition of few drops of solution containing ferric ions we will get blood red coloration that confirms the presence of both nitrogen and sulfur. Here the blood red coloration is due to formation of ferric thiocyanate ions. Now let us see how to detect the presence of halogens like chlorine, bromine and iodine. So first of all we will see how to test for uh, chloride ion. We have to take a um, small amount of uh, sodium fusion extract in a test tube. First of all we have to acidify the SFE with uh, nitric acid. Then uh, we have to add silver nitrate solution. If we get a curdy white precipitate that dissolves in ammonium hydroxide solution that will confirm chlorine in the organic compound. To confirm the presence of uh, bromine we have to first uh, acidify with uh, HNO3 then uh, add silver nitrate. Here if we get a pale yellow precipitate that is partially soluble in ammonium hydroxide then this confirms the presence of bromide ion. For iodide ion as usual we had to acidify with HNO3 then add AgNO3 solution and if we get yellow precipitate that is insoluble in ammonium hydroxide then that confirms the presence of iodide ion or iodine in the organic compound. Here uh, the reactions are in case of uh, chlorine the chloride ion reacts with AgNO3 by giving AgCl which is a curdy white precipitate and it is soluble in ammonium hydroxide due to the formation of uh, a complex that is known as diamine silver chloride and in case of uh, bromine so the bromide ion reacts with uh, AgNO3 by giving AgBr which is insoluble in uh, water hence it is uh, coming out as precipitate and it is uh, pale yellow or cream in color. So this is slightly soluble in water because of the formation of same type of complex. In case of iodide ion we will get AgI 
here it is uh, a low precipitate which is practically insoluble in ammonium hydroxide that's all for now visit adhikemistry.com for more information on this topic and practice questions don't forget to subscribe like share and comment all the best